There is a village in China that has a unique scenery in autumn when villagers put different farm products on flat baskets to dry them up. Layer and layer of baskets made the village on the slope of the hill colorful. I visited this village in 2017, one month after I came back from a trip to South Europe. And I found many resemblances between this village and the white villages in South Europe. In this video, I revisit this village and will show you the colorful autumn scenery through my camera. Hello, I'm Yan Yan. Today I'm in Wuyuan, Jiangxi Province. Now it's autumn. Many people enjoy autumn foliage. Here in this village, there is another colorful thing to enjoy. It's called Shai Qiu, or in English, drying crops in autumn sunshine. This village is built on a very steep slope of the mountain, kind of like Ronda. Ronda sits on the top of the cliff, but this village is on the slope of a hill. belong to Huizhou and Huizhou staff house has white walls. I call it La Casa Blanca de China. But this one is not the authentic style because the authentic style does not have windows. This is an authentic ancient white house, although its outer wall has turned from white to black. See, no window, like a castle. I guess this white house has been renovated and modified, incorporating the stuff South Europe or somewhere. that go through the village and they name it the Heavenly Street right the same as the one in Taishan so. At the corner of the square, there is a house where villagers sun drying their farm products. Let's walk inside. When walking on the street, look up, you'll find almost each house has posts sticking out from the roof or loft. These are used to hold the bamboo baskets. In old times, it was difficult to ship the farm products out of the mountain to sell them, so villagers dry them up to store them. 
A group of photographers found this place in 2000. The photos soon attracted visitors from around the country. Chili pepper is a common farm product of this region. It was raining in the morning that day, and many baskets were kept inside. Usually, this is the best spot to see the layer and the layer of baskets, but today only a few are out. I'll show you the photos I took in 2017 to show you what really attracted those photographers. It's interesting to put these two photos together. Las casas en este pueblo no son tan bellas como las de la tala de la sierra. Pero creo que las pistas son parecidas. These two photos I took in 2017 share more resemblance. Four years later, the houses in Wuyuan have become more yellowish. The outer layer of the wall of this house even fell off. People went ahead and made it a map of China. Ever since this village was found by the photographers, it became a hot spot for tourism. Then the villagers were moved to new houses at the bottom of the mountain, where there is more arable land and the traffic is more convenient. This village became a pure tourism site. Minimum maintenance is kept, and I guess painting the outer wall of these houses is not included. Villagers still have their terraced fields in the mountain, and there are roads from the bottom of the hill to here. The county Wuyuan was not put under the administration of Jiangxi Province until 1940s. It has its own unique culture and heritage, including the practice of Shai Qiu and these gasas blancas. In this video, I'll only show you the interior of these white houses without explaining the histories and the stories behind. I'll tell you the full story in another video in which I visit several other villages in this region during the same trip.
In my next video, I'll take you to several other villages in this county. I'll explain why the authentic Casablanca de China does not have windows. I'll visit houses of ancient government officials and merchants. You'll learn two ways in ancient China for ordinary people to get into the center of power and fortune. I'm Yan Yan. I make videos about sets of interest in China and histories and stories behind them. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.